In many cases, death comes at a cost. One emotional, another monetary. That's the backdrop to an extraordinary story of a woman's creative enterprise to offset the cost of her tragic loss. Here's our Brad Edwards. It was as perfect as Marjorie Jean Geis imagined on canvas. First came love, then marriage. Come on, wake up, you guys. Now they look like people. Then twins. Christmas, you know, people are worried about what they're getting their kids for gifts. I'm thinking, I really want to buy a gravestone. A friend of mine was like, you just do ornaments to kind of help you with the bills. Bills that started with what she thought was a nudge in September. I decided to Uber. Because it was a contraction. So I see you're going to Lutheran General, uh, labor and delivery. He's like, okay, you're having a baby? Is this really happening? And I'm like, um, I hope not. She hoped not because she was only 19 weeks pregnant. So, um, the tears just came and I'm like, oh my God, we're having a real baby. Like, it's not just a complicated pregnancy. Sometimes when I look at my husband, when he's sleeping, he looks like Edward. I see him. His heart was beating for 47 minutes. Edward and Kevin did not survive. She's paid for the loss ever since. Do you get bills? Every day. 939, pretty much $2,128. I am pregnant with twins. I just lost my job. There was that too. This all happened just after losing her job, insurance, getting reinsured. In the end, she owes an amount nearing $10,000. One ornament at a time, she posted her payoff plan on Facebook $55 a pop. Your pets, your home. You've got a flood of responses. Mm -hmm. Her plan to pay for her losses blossomed. Like when she finally got around to planting a rose bush in late October. But as soon as I plant them, four roses bloomed. Four buds. She'd had two miscarriages prior to the twins. We held your hand for only a short time. A precious gift from God. Until we meet again. So brief your stay. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Marjorie is working with the hospital and her insurers. Some of her bills we learned were possibly mistaken charges. While miscarriages are common, what happened in her case, one OBGYN told Brad, happens in less than 1% of pregnancies. This woman has been through so much. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah, it really is. And then to try to turn a huge negative into a positive like that, the strength is really remarkable. Yes, it's fire.